Hey, y'all. So, what happens when agents of council culture are canceled? <laughs> I've been telling y'all for the longest time. Everything that you support, all of this progressive extraness BS, okay, is always going to come back to your front door. It is going to eventually come for you. So your boy, Jank Uger, and I was saying his name all wrong in my last video where I mentioned him. It might be even possibly still saying his last name wrong, but y'all know who I'm talking about, Jank from the Young Turks. So this man has not even been on the campaign trail for a good full month yet. And <laughs> he is being hit by council culture, okay? So Bernie Sanders has retracted his endorsement of Jank because people are upset by some comments that Jank made years ago. So let's go ahead and take a look at this article by the Business Insider. Because this is just hilarious to me. Bernie Sanders endorsed a congressional candidate who once regularly used the N-word and repeatedly made crude comments about women. One of those comments being, obviously the genes of women are flawed. They are poorly designed creatures who do, who do not want to have sex nearly as often as needed for the human race to get along peaceably and fruitfully. <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Earlier this week, Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders endorsed, endorsed Jank, creator of the TV show and web series The Young Turks. But on Friday, the LA Times published a scathing expose on Uger, exposing his long history of making crude comments about women and using racist language. Now, some Sanders supporters are calling on the candidate to disavow Uger. 49-year-old Uger co-founded the Turks in 2002, blah, blah, blah. Among his targets, lesbians, Jews, and women, CNN and the Los Angeles Times reported. Ironically, <laughs> Uger is running to fill the seat vacated by former Representative Katie Hill, who resigned after new photos of her were leaked online. So this just goes on to talk about this. So this is um, uh, Bernie Sanders basically, you know, tweeting, um, pulling his endorsement. And I'm going to drop this article below if you guys want to take a look at it. It was another part in here. So this was so freaking funny to me, y'all. This, like, you have to admit this is hilarious. They literally dropped a picture of Jank in 2017 by Ben Shapiro. This is the same freaking playbook being played against the people that have consistently use this playbook i wonder how that feels he said i deleted it 15 years ago not because i got caught or because i thought somebody was going to find it i deleted it because i didn't believe it anymore this is not me i was trying to be stupid politically incorrect at politically incorrect republican he said so i wrote these things i knew were offensive and this just goes on to talk about that. But um, Bernie Sanders people all on Twitter was coming for him. We can't believe you're supporting this guy. He's a sexist, misogynistic. He's this, that, and the other. Let's not also forget, okay, because I, I never let y'all forget, Jank had the nerve to refer to Kanye West as stupid. You just a few weeks back 
were talking about Dave Chappelle and how you couldn't, uh, you, you just didn't like, you know, his, his, his stand-up special because he, he just crossed the line and said things he shouldn't have said and this and the other. And the Young Turks are known, very known for their smear campaigns against people constantly. Um, so I just think this is super interesting. And this is why I tell people some of these um, tweets and stuff that they pulled from him were like from 10 years ago. Some I think were from as recent as like three years ago. And this is why I tell people this BS that y'all feed into and you always thinking you're getting the other guy. One day that other guy is going to be you okay but i don't know it's just funny to watch it happen in real time but those are my thoughts leave your thoughts below don't forget to subscribe bye